When the new Oshino co opening steps harder than Will Smith on a casual Oscar night, you know you're in for a treat. Just like, bruh, how can you hear this and be like, nah? Also, how can you see this and be like, bruh, nah? Like, it's visually and audibly amazing. <laughs> Okay, there's got to be something better than amazing. There just has to be. It's such a simple word. <gasps> got it. Or inspiring. Sensationally amazing. <laughs> I'm a descriptor. What can I say? Swag. When I first heard this song, I was in what? shock. I kid you not, my mouth was reaching the ground. <laughs> I was a goddamn loony tune without the tune. Just a loony. With the broad piano backing the fast paced track, we get an intense and captivating song called Fatal. Or Fate Tale. I don't know which one, really. The main music video says Fatal in the tale, but everything else says Fate Tale, and I'm like, what one is it? So I guess whatever floats your boat. But then also in the music video, it says Fatal, but then they also sing the word Fate Tale. So it makes it even more confusing. I don't know which one it is. I'm just lost in the wilderness. Where am I? But this intense yet captivating song has two vocals. The soft yet powerful vocals from Kinto. And the uniquely alternating vocals from Tatsu. These two vocals create a beautiful contrast with the intense and captivating instrumental track which constantly keeps you on your toes. Now who is Kinto Nakajima and Tatsuya Kitani? They are singers. Banging research as usual. Kinto Nakajima is a Japanese singer, rapper, actor, voice actor, and television personality. He is best known as being a member of a Japanese idol group Sexy Zone and Yum <laughs> Sexy Zone. And Yuma Nakayama with BI Shadow. Wikipedia. <laughs> that was not supposed to be in the script, Wikipedia. <laughs> and Tatsuya Kitani is a Japanese musician, singer, lyricist, composer, and arranger. He is the basis of the free member band Saju Nohana. He was also active as a Vocaloid producer under the name of Konnichiwa Tanata-san. Wikipedia. Okay, I, I, I swear, I swear, I don't copy and paste. I would never do such a thing. But there was something off about these intense Google searches. Jimin was not mentioned. Oh, uh, actually, I just realized that right here, whilst editing, uh, go me. And you know what this means? It means I had to do proper research. <laughs> Yeah, so during the proper research, I discovered something and it caught me off guard. Jimin was made for this opening. This duo of Kento and Tatsuya, they were made for this opening. And that means there must be a correlation between that and the anime, but I don't know. I, I, I actually don't. I, I don't know because I have not watched an episode. I don't know anything. All I know is Oshino Ko Girl does Oshino Ko Girl things like dance and stuff and there's other people that dance and stuff that's all that's all i know but this also got me thinking would you guys ever like like me to just do a video on oshinoko because i do want to watch it i want to get around but maybe doing a video on it will finally get me to watch it so comment down below if you'd like a oshinoko video with with me from me yeah but yeah the duo being made for this opening really caught me off guard because they work so goddamn well but anyways the visuals for this are insane all right uh, what am i recording i don't know now let's get someone who doesn't know a single thing about the anime guess what the anime is about just through this opening so i thought this was an idol anime but it's a versus anime who's gonna win the boy side or the girl side they got split apart because of their work um, uh, what uh it's never face. Bro, Oshinoko is a horror anime, I'm telling you that right now. It's horror. It's horror. It's horror. What the hell? Like, what? Why Why are they wearing the people's faces? What? That, what? Like, look at this dude. He was born from the chaos of despair? Huh? And now they're depressingly watching Oshinoko girl hold a baby in the movie theater? I, I don't know. So, does something happen to Oshinoko girl? Like... What happens to Oshinoko Girl? The Oshinoko Girl does a cool dance. Oshinoko Girl walks through a door. It's just an isekai. The Oshinoko Girl just goes into another world. She's a, it's an isekai. Did Oshinoko Girl get sent to another world to 
defeat the demon lord by dancing? Is, 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 that, what, is, that, is that what Oshino cares about? It's actually an isekai. Look at them. They, 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 they transform. They got swords. They, they look badass. This is awesome. Uh, fuck's sakes. Wow. It's a play. A play played with my feelings. Stupid idiot, idiot, dumb anime playing with my feelings, goddammit. I thought it was an isekai. It got me excited. So I hope during this midlife crisis, you got to see the beautiful visuals that this opening has. Okay, now it's an important question. What the fuck does it mean? Like, what, what, is, what does the song mean? What is it about? So, I watched the full music video to find out. And boy, was it a blast. Waking up from another dream, I open my wet eyelids. Alrighty, cream pies in the morning. <laughs> Hashtag relax. Nah, but for Rosie's, my dude is crying in his sleep. So that gives me the vibe that he's dreaming about something that he just can't achieve. You know, something so sad. Or did the Oshinoko girl actually get isekai'd? We'll never, we'll, we'll, we'll never know. I won't. But if you continue to read the lyrics to the song, you see some written art. I want your dazzlement to light up my body. What should I use to fill in what's missing? Your eyes with glittering stars in them, all dried up. Poor thing, a lack of love. Also, I respect the person getting the bedazzled out in glitter. Like, the, 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 they are glitter. How many times have I dreamed of it? How many times have I wished for it? For your hands to caress the wound that continues to fester in my chest. Oh, oh, oh. Lyrical genius. And the more you read it, the more you understand that the story of the song is about being in the shadow trying to get into the light. Or a shadow that longed for the light. Whatever one you decide on. Swag. With Kento shining brightly on the stage with everyone dancing around him, to Tatsuya being tied down in a rope, unable to move, surrounded by the humans. So this gives me the idea that this is a theme in Oshinoko. It's probably about like how idols try their best to shine brightly on stage, but the corporations are holding them back and tying them down being in the shadows because they're not ready yet. To be fair, I just want them to defeat the demon lord by dancing. That's it. It's simple as that. <laughs> wait a sec. Wait, holy shit, wait, wait, I just thought of this. The corporations are the demon lord, and the people in Oshinoko have to dance to defeat the corporations, aka the demon lord. <laughs> Look at me go, bro. Yeah, yo. Now, I would love to talk a lot more about the music video, because of how awe-inspiringly, sensationally amazing it is. <laughs> but, I can't be fucked. I want a short video. So as user IVCCP5VG4V says, it surpasses all my imagination. Which... I swaggly agree with. So all of this creates an opening that slaps harder than Will Smith on a casual Oscar night. And you know what slaps harder than that? My Patreon! So for just one New Zealand dollar, you will help support make my dreams come true. And right now, on the Patreon, you have my exclusive reaction to the anime opening for Oshinoko, and also the full music video for Fae Tale. And yeah, just one New Zealand dollar and it would help make my dream come true. And if you don't want to support me, then that's fair enough. All you can do is just subscribe, which will also help make my dream come true. And it's a free option, so I recommend doing that, actually. But yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you guys really did enjoy it because I had a lot of fun making this one. It was a very short compared to all my other ones, but it was just fun so if you'd like it then show some support comment down below if you like more anime opening videos i liked it a lot and yeah other than that i hope you guys all have a great day keep smiling be happy out there and other than that peace